Capricorn Aquarius to your mid-month reading for May. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, let's see what's going on in the mid-month of May. Ooh. Got that new moon tonight, so make sure everybody that you are wiping your your uh, slate's clean over here, manifesting what you need to manifest. New moons are great for manifesting. And right now we have this great moon that's great for um, abundance, right? Really of money and love right now. So really want to get that out there. Um, okay, so really want to get out there tonight and really get those manifestations out. Really get those prayers out. <clears throat> okay, best message coming out. message we got the move card over here the chariot coming out and we also have the believe and succeed coming out as well um we've got six and seven going on over here move 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 with the chariot um it does feel like there is a place and a time and you're on the right track over here to keep moving um reworking plans um, if we even succeed within the situation, I got the six of wands over here. So that's talking, you know, about that victory of wanting what you want, you know, when we really want to believe that we will succeed, right? And really traveling towards where we really need to be. Um, and you will have this victory as you keep moving. Two cards of move of movement in its own way, right? Let's see what's going on. Trying to stabilize yourself, going after your own stability, really trying to find the vitality and this victory um, that's going on. And detach. Ooh, the 11 is the detach. So with the detach over here, this card is the same as the justice card. So this is saying, you know what, we need time to reflect, to accept the situation as it is, taking on the fairness and the responsibility of the situation for peace. So you may be actually moving towards, you know, what it is you want your victory for your own stability and vitality um, because you want to do what's really fair for yourself. Feels like there's something unfair going on. Kind of have this dead branch over here where it feels like, you know what, there wasn't really any fairity in the situation. So I need to move someplace and decide, you know what, where am I going to move where the situation really reflects on how I want to rework things? It does feel like there is some disharmony going on around you where you are trying to kind of put back the harmony. Could be in a relationship. Um, you know, if you find that, you know what, there's something going on where we're detached emotionally from the relationship or the situation, or you're dealing with somebody who is detached emotionally from the relationship, right, or what, or this situation, however, it does feel more like somebody's detached. Maybe you're both a little detached from each other and really just trying to move into a place where you can find some harmony. And let's clarify on that. So let's go ahead and clarify on that situation there. The believe in the succeed. I, you know, it's kind of like if I believe in succeed that I can, have, you know, win this victory. Supporting myself, discussing what it is I need to discuss within myself. Yes, once again, I have the justice. Same card coming out twice, 11-11. Um, this is saying this is where the truth and the clarity is going to come through. Through the truth and the clarity, I'm going to definitely find my victory. So I do feel like for some of you, you are speaking your truth so that you can have that peace. It could be just a peace of mind. For some of you, it's the law of attraction over here. But it does feel like there needs to be some kind of balance going on within this relationship. And, you know, it's like if I can really clearly see how I'm going to get my victory, I just feel like, you know what, it's time to speak your truth. 
because it just feels like there is definitely something that you feel is unfair. Maybe they're giving you the, you know, maybe they're not taking on all the responsibilities, right, and putting it all on your shoulders. With the base chakra over here, it just feels like, yes, trying to avoid some kind of con uh, conflict going on. It's almost like we agree to disagree. So if I speak my truth about the situation, whether they agree to disagree or want to disagree, it's not going to matter right now. Right, because there's definitely still some diversity going on, but it does feel like spirits like it's time for you to stand up, tell your truth, get the fairness, get your justice out of the situation to make more peace within the situation. Because there is a lot of emotional detachedness over here. And you know, yes, with the justice upside down, it's like it is causing impatience. But it also feels like it's to the detachment of the emotions is almost to the extreme, where it may even be hard to even talk to this person. They're so detached, right? Like they don't even really want to even speak with you. It's like speaking to a wall. So, and by trying to speak your truth about what the situation is helps you move to a better place for yourself, releasing all those emotions, aligning yourself. Say, okay, well, you know what? I finally got out what I needed to get out. I've been holding it back for a while, but you know what? I feel a lot, you're going to feel a lot better, right? It's strengthening bond. You're, it almost feels like, yes, because I want to strengthen this bond. Third eye chakra, clearly seeing. Love upside down. Whoa, hold on. Okay, so. At the bottom of the deck, there's a lot of control, so it does feel like this person is dominating. This person does have the control of the situation, but this will also help you be able to see, you know, where your control can now be as well. Once you have this all in the open, you're going to realize there's a lot of unrequited love going on over here. There's something going on with the love. Um, so as you're over here speaking your truth to try to strengthen this bond with this person and having these discussions, you might have felt like it was miscommunication that needs to be cleared up. Um, clarifying the strengthening the bonds, please. The six of pentacles coming out. It just doesn't feel like where you're trying to strengthen the bond that they're giving back to the situation. It's almost like, you know what? I've shared my feelings with you. I've shared my truth with you. I've told you what it is, but they're not gonna, they don't want to strengthen this bond with you. No, no, they're five of pentacles. They're keeping themselves in worry. They're keeping themselves closed down. Yeah, they have lack of faith within this relationship. They're, they don't want to come towards you. They're in so much distrust and disconnection. There's that detachment again. They're so disconnected that they're not even really paying attention. So where you think that this is going to help strengthen the bond, um, it's not. It's what it's actually doing is it's awakening you with your third eye to clearly see the situation for what it really is. So now you say, oh, now I can clearly see what the situation is. Mm -hmm. This is just going to really give you the insight that they've lost faith within this connection. They don't, they don't, see, they don't see it the way you're going to see it. And or you are going to lose faith within this connection. I think you're I think they've lost faith within this connection and it's gonna clearly make you understand, you know what, I'm gonna lose faith in this connection too because you're not giving back, you're not going to um you know give me back what I need. So it's gonna feel like I said, it's gonna feel very cold. It's gonna leave you out in the cold because they feel left out in the cold. So there's definitely a huge detachment and separation between the two of you with the third eye chakra over here is gonna put you in a hangman mode so that way you can clearly see. Um, really seeing the new perspective of the situation. I open up, I talk to you, I even sacrifice my own time and my own, maybe even integrity, because I know you're wrong or however it is, um, to release and get deeper into this situation. And I'm seeing exactly how this is going. Um, so you're going to sit in your quiet power over here as you're really understanding the truth. Now the truth, now that you have opened up to the truth, to speak your truth, you see their truth. You understand what I'm saying? You see this cannot be fixed. You see that they they um, don't want, you know, they have heartbreak. Now you guys both have three of swords. 
this is really going to hurt because you're going to see exactly how this is going down. Um, but you also are going to feel their pain as well because they're in so much pain. They're not going to let go, guys. They're not going to heal from this. So definitely what you're clearly seeing is they gave up. Where you thought you would push and try to fix this, they've given up. They've given up on this situation. And you're very exhausted because it does feel like, you know what, I've done everything and I went on to believe that we could have victory over this situation, but they've already closed that door. Uh, with the love situation over here, yes, it could be a marriage going on and you could feel like this is unrequited love, the love is not there. Um, this is where you find the lack of inner harmony. There's no support from this person. The communication is lost. You already knew it was lost, but it's almost like, but I'm going to give it everything that I have to try to fix this, but they don't want to. They've already, they've already made up their mind about how they feel about this situation, right? So all this is going to do is um, make you move into a different direction because you see the cycle change. You know, it's almost like you felt like there would be a possibility. Hey, you know what? Put it out there. Let's see if there's a possibility of us getting back, you know, to the love. But they're moving on with their own possibilities. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries. Um, and they've made up their mind. Or a Libra. And they've definitely made up their mind. Yeah. Yeah, they've weighed their options. Guys, they've weighed their options. They're... You know, they've already said, you know what, I'm, I'm done. I, I, they already feel that this was a breakup. The broken communication that you guys had in their head was already done. There was already too much tension, too much distrust, too much disharmony, um, right? So, and if you guys know it's the other way around, then that's how you feel. There's too much distrust, right? Um, however, this is how it resonates. If you know it's... You know, who's who? Yeah, you're going to feel their smugness against you with the Nine of Cups. You're going to say, you know, I just didn't, I didn't win. They have too much smugness. This person has lost their inner joy to the relationship. They do not feel like they want to, um, you know, that they want to fix this. Yeah, they're, they pretty much put their foot down and said they're done. Some of you might, you know, they may be already thinking about divorce. If you guys are married, they may already be thinking that way. Now, you may be thinking that way. However it is, everybody's story is a little different. But, yes, absolutely. There could have been somebody that was involved within this. You know, three's a crowd. So it could be a third-party situation, whether it was a friend that got involved and messed this up for you guys, or a family member, or caught cheating, or however it is. Um, but this is definitely talking about, you know, somebody might even be overindulging in alcohol um, at this time, but could even have had something to do with alcohol and partying and all of that. But now it just feels like, you know what, and I'm just going to take my independence and my alone time as I am moving because now you're going to find you have to move into a new direction. Something that's, you know, going to nurture yourself as you're, you know, you're going to have to heal now. Because they, they're going to put you in the nine of swords because you're trying your hardest to get through all of this. But now it's kind of like, wow, okay, their moodiness, you know, their moodiness has, um, you know, really kind of disappointed you. Because it does feel like, you know what, we could have fixed this. Um, but they've decided that they do not want to take action on this. They do not want to move, right? You may even feel like they're taking something that could be very small and turning it into something very huge that was fixable. Um, but they just, they don't feel like they want to, they don't want to do this. So with the Ace of Swords upside down, it's kind of like clouded judgment. You may even feel like they're clouding judgment. They're causing more chaos than needed, um, right? But it could also be causing you a little bit of... Give you more clarity in thinking of new ideas and rethinking about what's going on within this situation. Um, yeah. Okay. So definitely something is going on over here. For some of you, it could have been so small and you're like, wow, why are you taking this, you know, into some victim mentality? Um, you're over, 
you know, taking this way overboard or, um, or this was a huge ordeal that you guys thought you could actually overcome um, and they're just not going to do so or you're not going to do so. Like I said, it could be different, right? <clears throat> Depending. Okay, so let's get some angel cards over here and see what's going on. Clarify on the situation. Tell them the best message. Best message for you is use your intuition about the situation. Your intuition will be the main key here um, to this situation, right? And you might want to ask help from others about the situation. I and mean, there's going to be some recovery for sure for both of you, right? Because this is a this is a tough one. Because yeah, they literally are not going to communi communicate clearly with you. Okay, they just they're they're just kind of like done or you're done. However. It looks like that's that was that one. Okay, so overall message is step into your own power, step into what you know that you want, walk your own rainbow bridge, walk for yourself at this time, right? Because obviously this person is doing what they're doing right and it's time for you to you know take back your power you know and just give yourself your own ace of wands find your vitality find your happiness right time to take back what you need for yourself okay and that's the overall okay until next time my friends peace and love Bye bye